What is up guys? I am very excited today. We are showing you a 2016 McLaren 570S. Uh, this is considered what they call a baby McLaren or the perfect entry level exotic. This is a real supercar. It has only 18,700 original miles on it. It is finished in a special factory paint that's kind of a rare option. Uh, this is called Mantis Green, and it has tons of features. It has a massive MSRP of over $230,000. Now you guys know what I'm about to ask you next. If you guys enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. If you click the bell icon, you'll get notified every single time a new video gets posted. You don't want to miss out. We got some killer rides coming in and out of this place. So if you want to be the first to see it, make sure you subscribe. Let's check out this McLaren. So that, as I was saying, this is an entry level 570S. It is finished in the Mantis Green, which was a special factory option paint, guys. And if you're going to have a supercar, you better get it in the right color. And this color is awesome. Now the whole front of the car has been PPF'd and the lower side portions. So that way no stone chips are gonna happen. This has a over $10,000 carbon fiber exterior two package on it, which gives you the side aero blades, the side cooling on the splitters, uh, the lower side skirts as well. Those are PPF'd and a huge carbon fiber rear diffuser. I love this thing. That is one of the best pieces on this car, as well as the giant carbon fiber wing, and it's on the extended risers. This thing just looks awesome. Uh, now take note, all of the McLaren's lighting are LED, and it's laser sharp. It looks really, really cool. Uh, all the engine bay covering, and then the rear bumper is finished in like a metallic gray color on it. Now the roof has been vinyl wrapped uh, in a satin black, just to kind of give it that offset. The paint is mantis green underneath that and it's in perfect condition. I love the styling. Look at the, aero, the aer aerodynamics on this vehicle. It just flows real nicely. McLaren does a great job with their engineering and wind testing and all that. Uh, so this thing not only We'll have a top speed of over 200 miles an hour. Now take a look at the carbon fiber diffusers in the front with the front lip spoiler. Again, helping with that downforce. There's also some uh, radiators on either side to help with the cooling. So everything is built and designed on purpose. Uh, even the headlights have that matching swoop arches. Let's see, let's light them up here. So the daytime running lights uh, and the turn signals are all LED as well on it. The wheels, guys, they are a 19 inch in the front and a 20 inch in the rear. And these were an added option. They are a 10 spoke with the diamond cut laser finish. So they have that gray metallic and then the fronts of them, of the spokes have been diamond cut. So they are polished, they're razor sharp. They're wrapped in a very nice Firehawk all Firestone tire. Uh, they're a high performance tire. Those are brand new as of last year. So they don't have a whole lot of miles on them. Uh, the rotors and the brakes guys, they are a carbon ceramic two piece rotor with a massive silver painted McLaren six piston in the front, four piston in the rear brake. So this thing will stop on a dime. When you're going 200 miles an hour, you're going to want to be able to stop. And this is going to provide that. Now there's a lot more options on this car. Let's get into the interior. Now take note of the doors, guys. They do open like a butterfly style that's exclusive to McLaren. They recess the door button right under that side arrow blade. So it's tucked, it's discreet, you can't see it. Look how cool that looks. Now take a look at this interior. Uh, this is finished in a carbon black and mantis green colorway. Uh, it is made by Interior McLaren, so it was a $3,000 added option for this color combination uh, in the interior. Everything is Alcantara suede or perforated leather or the nice soft Napa leather on it. Uh, so it's very, very nicely built. These are handmade out of England, guys, and it shows that they are handmade quality because it is put together very, very nicely. Take a look at how low I am sitting in what I wanna call a tub. This is a one-piece carbon fiber monocell chassis uh, with an extended aluminum 
chassis on the rear for the subframe and the motor area. But this is all one piece, molded, handcrafted. I can't rave enough about the quality of the build in the interior. Uh, you really do feel like you're sitting in a supercar. In the center here, you have a seven inch touchscreen. Uh, this will pull up your Bluetooth, your radio, your navigation, uh, and all that good stuff, your climate control, uh, stuff like that on here. It is small, but again, you guys, you are in a car that you wanna drive that's meant to be driven, so you don't have all the luxuries of a luxury car. Uh, the whole dash area is a digital display, uh, so that'll scroll through and show your options as well on it. This does have 360 parking sensors on it with a rear backup camera. As you can see, you don't have much of a rear view window, so that's nice to have there. Now in the center here, they do a carbon fiber trim with an aluminum ring. This has your uh, drive reverse and neutral controls right here, as well as your launch control button, your active handling. Uh, you have sport mode, touring mode, and track mode uh, that you can change on these dials, so you can change the way this car handles and the performance. Uh, the steering wheel is a tilt and tilt telescopic with carbon fiber shift handles that are built into the steering wheel so when you turn the wheel those are going to turn with you that way it gives you the best control at all times uh, take a look at all the suede the alcantara suede and the green mantis uh, stitching on here guys it's done very nicely and it ties in with the sport bucket seats so these have a alcantara suede insert in the whole centers with some Napa leather that has the perforated mantis green stitching and holes on that as well. I think that is very nicely designed from McLaren. In the center here, there's a little storage area again for your armrest. Uh, and then you have some USB ports and an auxiliary port so you can plug in your phone and charge it or store your phone in there. There's not too much storage in here, but McLaren does give you a shelf back here. Uh, if you have a carry-on bag or let's say a duffel bag, that if you're traveling, you can fit it back here for a little extra storage. So that's kind of nice that they give you that. Everything is very clean in here. It still smells like a new car and it still looks like it. Now you also get a 12 speaker Bowers and Wilkins surround sound stereo or speakers system in here guys. So this thing has a great sound performance. So you could listen to the exhaust or your music and it'll be music to your ears. Uh, now being as low of a car as it is with all this fancy carbon fiber and the massive uh, front splitter on it and the rear diffuser. This also has an added optional front end lift on here that'll raise the nose of the car, which is nice if you're going up into a steep driveway or over curbs, stuff like that. Uh, it's gonna protect your front lip. Now guys, this is a rear or mid-engine supercar. Uh, so the rear engine bonnet cover doesn't actually pop up. You can't remove it. You do have to get it serviced by McLaren. So they have to go in and unbolt it physically and remove it all as one piece. However, you do have a little lid that pops up here. I kind of find it funny, uh, but that's where you can fill your coolant and engine oil uh, from that little flap area. Uh, now take a look at all the honeychrome venting on here. So this thing has great heat dissipation on it. Uh, we are looking at the McLaren's 3.8 all aluminum V8 that's twin turbo. This is pushing 562 horsepower, 443 pound feet of torque from the factory. It's mated to a seamless seven speed dual clutch transmission by McLaren. Again, seamless shifting. This thing is a supercar, zero to 60 in about three seconds with a top speed of over 200 miles an hour. This is an absolute blast to drive. They also do tons of venting on the rear area here. So behind, or on the rear bumper, I should say, in the center section, that's all open. And then these honeycombs that are built in around or the inside of the headlight, or the taillights, excuse me. Uh, that's all venting for this engine bay. So they keep in mind uh, the cooling system on here. Uh, it's made fantastic. So this also has a option sport exhaust on it. It is a dual uh, exhaust with kind of like that same similar style tail, uh, the exhaust pipe tips that match almost the uh, lights as well. Same curvatures on it. Underneath the car, guys, this has a complete independent suspension. It's on dual wishbone. Again, they are active dampening and different multi-modes on it. Uh, so it's gonna change how this performs and drives. 
Uh, and it's in excellent shape as well. It's, it does have mostly panels that are covering the whole bottom of the car, so you're not gonna see much exposed, but it also keeps it uh, protected from the elements. Now you do have a front trunk area, or frunk as you wanna call it. There's a button in the center console that you can push to pop it, or you can use the key fob, guys. This does have two key fobs that come with. Inside we have a McLaren option car cover, and battery tender that goes with it. So when you're not driving this bad boy, I suggest keeping it plugged in. Uh, there is a smart technology. This car will know how long it's been parked for and it will try to reserve the battery. But to prevent it from draining completely, make sure you keep that tender plugged in at all times. Uh, this trunk area, it's big enough for a, maybe a couple carry-ons or a large suitcase, so you got a decent amount of room if you are traveling and you want to bring some stuff with you. Uh, there's a nice LED light in there that'll light up the trunk area space as well. And again, we have that nice carbon black uh, carpeting through the whole inside here, uh, and it's in really great shape as well. Take a look at this thing spinning around, guys. Look at it all opened up and exposed. It really does look like a supercar because not only it is, but it looks exclusively like a McLaren. Their styling is way different than Lamborghinis or Ferraris, so you're never gonna have this mixed up. People know exactly what these cars are once they see them. This thing is sweet. Uh, that was my impression on this 570S. Again, finished in the Mantis green with a carbon fiber exterior pack two on it. Tons of options, the luxury pack for the interior and a custom two-tone interior as well. And you have great options like 360 parking, the front end lift on it. Look at these doors, these are awesome. I love the butterfly doors. They shut so nicely too. We have this beautiful massive carbon fiber rear wing on it. So if you guys are interested in owning this car, again, 200 and over 230,000 MSRP, and you can pick it up for a lot less. But if you are interested, you can visit volocars.com. There you can put, click the buy it now button and secure a refundable deposit on this car. It'll shoot us an email with your contact information. Uh, we can help you guys get financing on this and get it shipped right to your driveway. It's super easy. Check it out at volocars.com. Or you can call us, ask for me, Caleb. We can talk about the car some more and we can go over financing and shipping options that way as well. Thanks for checking it out.